All right, so it is officially the daytime, so we are back at the shop, and we got the Mustang over here as well, so you guys can see, get a better look at what we got going on. So we got that fresh new battery over there to start us off, new fuel lines, fuel rails, Moss 302 intake manifold, We've got brand new coolant, oil, obviously, We've got the fuel pressure regulator right there. Basically, I'm gonna go over what I told you guys last night, but at least this time you guys can see, you guys can see the return lines and the fuel lines right there, all looking good. A brand new AC condenser right there. Uh, new AC lines, custom AC lines I'm pretty sure. I go all the way around and about, looking good. Goes up into the uh, compressor right there. To give you guys a better look, the tire is ripped. That's why she's jacked up. But you guys can see the fuel lines right there. Might have to do something about that. That does not look to be very secure. Again, this switch, we're gonna have to figure that out, but we'll, we'll get more information when we come back to the shop to pick it up. I'm sure he'll tell us everything about it and uh, how to work this thing. on you guys and welcome to another video we are heading on over to finally get the mustang guys i know you guys have been so stoked of me trying to get the mustang and me getting the mustang so today is the day we're officially picking it up and everything is completely done there are a little like little things that i gotta do to kind of just wrap things up but the engine is done ac works all the belts are on uh, everything works and we are good to go. So we gotta go to the shop, go pick it up. And uh, one bad thing though that we do have to go do before we pick up the Mustang and put it on the trailer is that I have a flat in the front. So you guys can see right there, I got a tire. We're gonna have to go to a shop to put the tire on. And then after we put the tire on, then the wheel, then we can go back to the shop, put the wheel on the car, then we can put the car on the trailer and then bring it home. So that is the plan for today. Tomorrow there's a car meet locally uh, that we're gonna go to and we'll, we'll bring out the Mustang and have the first meet in the Mustang. So that should be fun. Let's head on over to the shop. Let's go grab the Mustang. Let's look at it. I know you guys have already seen in the last video when I did the little update. And uh, yeah, we're finally getting it, boys. So I hope you guys are excited. We're gonna do the first start. I got the keys and uh, I'm excited. All right, so they are in there with the brand new tire. They're putting it on as we speak. If you guys can see that or not. We got them right when they were closing. We got here a little late. Didn't really plan this out too well, I guess. We got here at like 7.38 and then uh, we had to go to a tire shop to get the tire off and then the new tire on. And so that kind of just crams our time and everything was closed after eight. Um, actually even before 8 all the stores were closed. So thankfully we're here at Costco. They're hooking us up I had to buy a membership just for them to mount the tires, but it is what it is. We got it done They're working on it right now And then we can put that new wheel on the Mustang and then we can finally get the Mustang onto the trailer and bring it home When we get back to the shop we'll also start it give it a couple revs listen to it and then mount it onto the trailer bring it home Got ourselves a GTR right here the shop we got the tire right here ready to be put on it is super dark we're gonna bring it over to the Mustang put it on and then do the first start I'm excited also it's gonna be really really loud because it has no uh, no mufflers on it right now it's pretty much straight dumped from the x-pipe there she is just like that we got her on time to lower it down and then start it up Let's start her up and get her on the trailer. First start. All right, well, after troubleshooting some things, one of the plugs wasn't plugged in. We got that plugged in, we are good to go. Then the battery ended up dying because we were trying to start it while 
you know, we were trying to figure all that out while using the battery. Then it died, so now I had to jump it. Now we should be good to go. Go ahead. Gosh, that's so loud. it looks like alrighty time to unplug these bad boys let it warm up and then uh, we'll give it a couple revs and then put it on the trailer let her warm up for just a little bit got the trailer over there we got the ramps down ready to go keep coming keep coming stop so good all right park it and rev it not crazy but just rev it oh yeah that's loud all right let's put her on the trailer and bring her home give it another rev needs a two like I said, it needs a tune, obviously. Um, this is off the stock tune. Well, 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 we are back at home and we got the Mustang right here, like I said. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at it. <sighs> Last night we got it in and it was a, uh, it was definitely a trip. Let's go ahead and open her up. Let's discuss everything that's done to her. All right, all right, all right. So we got a Gen 3 short block, Coyote Swap, uh, Gen 2 heads, Gen 1 timing components. We got a complete fuel system that has a cutoff switch right there. Fuel system is right there. We got a K&N filter right here. I had a PMAS, which is actually in the uh, back seat of the car. Um, it's right there. It was too big and it was choking up and it wouldn't run on the car. So I threw this on there and it runs actually. So that's good news. We got a Boss 302 intake manifold um, connected to the engine. We got a brand new aluminum flywheel. And we got a new clutch um, that's rated for 700 torque. We got a new AC condenser. He's supposed to fix the AC and everything like that. So the AC should be working. And we got an electric steering rack. And we got the bump steer kit, as you guys can see. The only issue with that is that it kind of bows. And uh, when I roll backwards, that wheel kind of uh, skates. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if that's an alignment issue or what. Um, when I back up, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we start this bad boy. Got a new ECU. Um, we got a new wire harness. So we got rid of the Ford Performance control pack that was right there. Uh, we got a new wire harness that pretty much took care of all that. And uh, now we don't need that extra fuse box over there. All my fuses are actually where it's supposed to be in this box right here. That is where everything is at, right where it's supposed to be. Stock fuse box panel. Um, I actually got my horn to work again. So that's what this is. Plugged it in just to see if it worked, and it does. So that's a plus. What else do we got? He didn't want to put the exhaust back on, so it's running dumps right now. Or it's dumped right out of the X-pipe. So it's really, really loud, and this has been sitting, so the cold start is going to be extremely loud. We got the Mustang back. Let's take a gander at her real quick. Let's do a full 360 at her now that we got her back. 
close this door. All right, all right, all right. Boom. There's the front bumper right there. With this front bumper, it is cracked, so I need to buy another one. It's right there, I was looking for it. That's my favorite bumper of all time on this car, is the Eleanor. The only problem is that it's made out of polyurethane plastic, and so the paint doesn't like to stick on that type of uh, material. But as far as the way it looks, it's the best, in my opinion, and it looks so good with this kit as well. So we'll throw this on there just to see what it looks like. And just like that, just throwing it on there, it's not bolted down or anything, but it's kind of just hanging on by the top two clips up there. Well, let me shut the hood real quick. So that's with the hood shut. It does look very empty without that intercooler in there. This is to give you an idea of what it would look like when it's all said and done. God, it looks so good. The side skirts are off as well. Um, they're actually right here on the side right here. Um, I guess one of them was coming off So we'll have to uh, go ahead and throw that back on there, but it actually doesn't look too bad without the side skirt to be honest um, I thought it would look too far in but it doesn't look too bad speaking of in the garage Let me show you guys a little bit of an update. I had like a shelf right here got rid of that Continued all of this over here, and then we got the max jack We still got the shelving over here on my bot um, another one of those basically, but it's kind of like half the size that's gonna go there And then there's gonna be storage underneath it put all this up clean all this up Got the tire rack up there put those posters up there got the sponsors um, cut the trash can This is new so this is the new toolbox right here And so is that one and speaking of toolboxes. This one is in retirement This is my first toolbox that I've ever had it has done me wonders, and I love the thing. It just didn't fit the color scheme in here, so I got rid of that. Well, I'm selling it, and then got that instead. So, got that. We got the miniature one over here. That's looking good. I want to get, you see how this is red? I want to do that on all of these as well. I just don't know how, or if they make like an overlay for it. Uh, let me know if you guys know exactly where to get that because I'd like to buy it. And then we got the clock up there. We got the TV over there. We got the American flag just adjusted right now because I need to fix the American flag. We're going to put like a metal brace right here. And then the American flag is going to sit from here. And then this is going to be pushed over. And then it's going to sit up here. So it's going to be hanging right there. And then that'll block that. So then we continue over here. And... We got a bunch of these boxes that we're going to get rid of, but we got the couch right here as well. So when you're sitting here, you can watch TV and then that's pretty much it. We're going back to the Mustang. So we got her all situated. This is what the inside looks like. Still got to put the radio back in, kind of work on the interior and stuff. Like I need one of these. I got a plug in there. Need a radio bezel. The rest of that is like right in there. So we just got to put it together. I want to get this thing running right before I do anything crazy. We do have a new short throw shifter that I'm going to install. That's a Barton. Um, I have an MGW in the garage over there. But that's why that's not all together either. So I can go ahead and easily remove that and put the new shifter in. So that's the inside. And I'm thinking that's about it. So as far as the fuel system goes, we have a Division X fuel system. And then the return style fuel system all the way up to here. Uh, fuel rails are upgraded as well, as you guys can see. Pretty much it, I guess, without further ado. I hope I'm not missing anything um, as far as the engine swamp goes. Um, got the AC, electric power steering. It's basically a stock 11 to 14 engine bay. Looks pretty clean. Let's go ahead and see if the battery is dead or not and then start her up get that cold start Actually, you know what real quick since that is so open. Let me see what it would look like with the uh, With the grill in there And just like that Boom Almost looking pretty complete right there from afar, it looks good. Let's go ahead and start her up. Sit you guys down right there.
Beach. My neighbors love me if you guys didn't know. Let's pop the hood, see if everything's looking good. ourselves some fuel pressure it looks like we are good to go 55 but still on a stock tune and everything like that so I can't go crazy and then eventually uh, when we get that tune and we run this and everything seems to be going good then we can boost the car need the injectors because uh, these are stock injectors that we have to throw in there uh, we're gonna get some ID 1300 injectors throw that in there <clears throat> put the pro charger on and then make some serious boost we're gonna let her warm up and then uh, we're gonna take her out for the first drive. I'm gonna back her up, but when I do, watch that wheel. Tell me uh, why it does that. set up over there so we're gonna use the iPhone footage inside of here uh, for some reason my rpms don't work neither does my speedometer it looks like I'm looking like a Christmas tree over here too Very nice. Get some lube on them windows, golly. <clears throat> Go ahead and switch back to the camera. camera over there you didn't get to really see this side of the tire so let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about now maybe it's every once in a while I'm not sure probably is an alignment but 
go ahead and figure that out but that is pretty much everything yeah i don't know why he didn't throw the uh stem on here on the old uh engine i guess he didn't want to throw that on there he also didn't put the screws on the coil packs on any of them either see i'm not sure why he didn't do that either he said all of it was on my old motor but if it was on the old motor why didn't you just swap it over here i don't know car still runs good i think for the most part but that's pretty much a wrap on this video um got her up and running first start first drive we got the mustang back super stoked about this big 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 plans for this thing we'll see how it goes from here hopefully it uh all stays intact and um we have no issues and we'll just have to see how it goes yeah, i'm super happy hope you guys enjoyed this video get one last look on her coyote swap the world i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash like button uh, stay tuned for future videos uh, we're going to tune it put some boost on it the boost is in the back of the car let me show you guys what i'm talking about all right so everything is back here basically the old ecu is back here got the pro charger right there it's p1sc so we'll probably have to upgrade that to a d1x at least to make the power gains that we are uh, wanting to make got the intercooler with the blow off valve right there got the rest of the stuff back in there yeah i guess everything that he didn't want to use he just threw back here fuel pump is right in there it's a dual division x fuel pump that can handle over a thousand the fuel system this lines uh, the return style that can hold over a thousand the only thing that's holding us back are the injectors but uh yeah i'll keep you guys updated on how this goes uh we got to figure out some tuning for the car and uh get her all figured out that way we can actually drive her uh, over 3,000 RPMs and not have any issues. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.